Could there be dinosaurs on the moon? According to science, yes. The meteorite that changed everything. Approximately 65 million years ago, when dinosaurs still ruled the world and inhabited every corner of the planet, one fateful day, a meteorite the size of Mount Everest fell on the Yucatan Peninsula. creating devastation that wiped out a large part of the living beings that inhabited the planet. The Earth's crust rose several kilometers, lifting tons of dust and rocks that darkened the sky for thousands of years. Today there are hypotheses that suggest that probably this meteorite was not what killed the dinosaurs, since in reality they had begun to become extinct long before, and the meteorite was only the cherry on the cake that ended up killing them all. Was the meteorite the cause of the extinction of the dinosaurs? If you'd like us to talk about it in another video, you can leave us your opinion in the comments. For now, the only thing that interests us is that this cataclysm event did occur. The most obvious proof is that there is a huge crater of 180 kilometers in diameter in the Yucatan Peninsula. This crater, called Chicxulub, was formed by a meteorite that measured approximately 9 kilometers in diameter and fell on the Earth approximately 65 or 66 million years ago. The impact of such a massive body caused the ocean and Earth's crust to soar through the skies, creating a wave of magma and debris several kilometers high. All this matter that was on the surface of the planet shot out at such a high speed that much of it reached the escape velocity, that is more than 11 kilometers per second, and eventually all this matter ended up in space. Among all this matter that shot into space because of the impact by the meteorite, there were not only rocks, but everything that was in Earth's crust at that time, water, trees, insects, and of course dinosaurs. This means that when the Chicxulub meteorite fell on the Earth, a good number of those dinosaurs that were not incinerated instantly were shot into space. Obviously, those dinosaurs did not survive that fateful journey into space without a return ticket, and most likely their bodies will be incinerated instantly, but some parts were able to survive and reach space while retaining recognizable organic structures. After the meteorite launched a good part of the Earth's crust into space, including dinosaurs, all this matter began to clump together in a ring of asteroids around the Earth. For thousands of years, much of this matter would re-enter the Earth in the form of meteorites, but another large part would not be trapped by the Earth's gravity and would move away from the planet little by little until some other body will capture it with its gravity. And what is the closest celestial body to the Earth? Exactly, the Moon. You may not know this, but the Moon moves away from the Earth 3 centimeters a year. That means that if we rewind the clock and go back in time 65 million years ago, the moon was 1 million meters closer than today. And if the moon was a million meters closer, its gravitational pull force on the Earth was also greater, meaning that any object that moved away was more likely to end up on the moon than any other celestial body. If we combine all these factors, it means that 65 million years ago, after the Chicxulub meteorite hit the Yucatan Peninsula, a large amount of debris, rocks, and dinosaur remains from the Earth were left orbiting around the planet. Over the next few thousands of years, they moved away, being attracted by the gravity of the Moon, then fell on the lunar surface. And finally, were buried little by little with the lunar regolith that rises every time a meteorite falls. And that's how it could be that there are dinosaur fossils buried on the Moon. This hypothesis comes from a paper published in 2013 by Professor Stein Sigerson of the Department of Astronomy and Astrophysics at the Eberly College of Science. In this article, Professor Sigerson mentions all the chances that meteorites from other planets end up spreading throughout the solar system due to the impact of meteorites. The graphs show that if a meteorite falls on a planet, 
the impact can detach pieces of that planet and these will fall on the nearest celestial bodies. The Theory of Panspermia The Theory of Panspermia is one of the many scientific theories that try to explain the origin of life on Earth. This theory tells us that the first living being from which all living beings on the planet descended did not arise spontaneously on Earth, but came from somewhere else in the universe. That is to say that all the living beings that inhabit this world were not born here, but were deposited here in a meteorite or asteroid that fell on the Earth billions of years ago. It is likely that just as dinosaur remains could end up on the Moon, in some other distant solar system, there was a planet overflowing with life, where a huge meteorite fell that wiped out all living beings. And in the process, threw into space pieces of this planet in the form of asteroids, with cells of the beings that inhabited that planet. Perhaps one of those asteroids with extraterrestrial life traveled for millions of years, surviving the extreme conditions of outer space until one day it fell on the Earth, depositing on the planet the first living beings in the form of microorganisms. And from there, they evolved and emerged all living beings that have existed on this planet, including us. This would mean that all living things in the universe could come from the same place. But for now, there is no evidence to corroborate this. Scientific Evidence Of the more than 53,000 meteorites found on Earth to date, after studying and analyzing the mineral composition and oxygen isotopes of each of them, it has been corroborated that at least 105 of those meteorites found on Earth come from none other than Mars, the red planet. Hypotheses suggest that millions of years ago, a huge meteorite fell on Mars that lifted a large amount of debris into space. Due to the low gravitational pull force of Mars, this debris quickly left the orbit of the planet and dispersed throughout the solar system, falling into nearby celestial bodies like Earth. If it is possible for pieces of Mars to fall on Earth millions of years ago, why wouldn't it be possible for dinosaur remains to fall on the Moon? It's not such a ridiculous idea when we think about it with skepticism. Missions to the Moon For now, none of the missions that have been sent to the Moon have been intended to search for dinosaur remains and may have fallen on the satellite millions of years ago. But that may be about to change. In the near future, NASA will begin the first missions of Project Artemis, of which we have already made a series of videos. This project has as its main purpose to take the new generation of astronauts to the moon, and among its main objectives are to drill the lunar surface in search of deposits of valuable minerals and water reserves. It is likely that there is a possibility of taking advantage of these future missions to search for dinosaur fossils on the moon. If in the future any of the missions that are being planned to take the next generation of astronauts to the moon will find a single dinosaur fossil on our natural satellite, this would be one of the greatest discoveries of the century, since the theory of panspermia would take a lot of force, which would completely change our conception of life. Finding dinosaur fossils on the moon would mean that the chance that we too have come to Earth in the same way is very great. What if life first arose on Mars, then came to Earth? What if the first living things appeared on Venus and then came to Earth? The answers to these questions are not easy to answer, since for now we have no evidence that there has been life anywhere else in the universe besides planet Earth. The only way to know if anything is possible is to go to those planets and look for signs of life, explore tirelessly until we find the truth and discover what our true origin is. Because if the living beings that inhabit the Earth do not come from the Earth, then where do we come from? What is our origin? Does our true home still exist? And if it exists, where is it? The idea that there are dinosaur fossils on the Moon opens the door to many questions, but it is up to you to answer them. Tell us, do you consider that there could be dinosaurs on the moon? Let us know your opinion with a valuable comment.